Hi and welcome to Community Builder 2.0 tutorial number 3. Let's just continue where we left off. This is our front page. Uh, I noticed that the user menu here is actually published to public. I don't think this is correct so let me just go back to Joomla and find the extension module manager find the user menu here see that it is public and let's just go and edit it and set it to registered i don't think there's any reason we should show a public module here so there we go okay going back to the back end now we we only have one user currently on our test site. Uh, let's see how we can actually add another user from the administration panel here from the community builder user management area. I can just go ahead and click new here or I could have gone to the community builder user management add new user. Both will basically take me to the same page which is the edit screen for new users in the back end. So I'm going to avoid doing anything with the canvas and the portrait tab and just go to the contact info and set up a user from, from here. Pick a username, give an email address, set up a password for this user okay that's it do a save and close we'll see that the user has been created and well not online of course and no visit yet and the account has been enabled confirmed and approved we'll see what these mean later on uh, now the user at this point receives an email message welcoming the user to the site. Let me just go ahead and show you this email message. Huh. Actually, the user received two email messages. This is one, and this is number two. I don't know if you guys are noticing what's happening, but basically this message is sent by Community Builder and the second message is sent by Joomla. Kind of different. We don't want this to happen so what we do basically let's just close this. We have to turn off email sending in Joomla. What we do is we go to extensions, plugin management, search for user Joomla here. That's the plugin user dash Joomla. I click here, I edit it, I see the second here uh, parameter says notification mail to user, I set this to no. Save and close. That's it. This way we only have one email being sent and that will be from Community Builder. We won't have Joomla uh, butt in. So basically the user management area, we see we have two users and you know just to verify this if you look in the Joomla user manager you'll see that the same two users have been added here there's no reason to go here in the future I'm just showing you that uh, community builder will automatically create a user in Joomla and in community builder so this way if God forbid in the future you decide to remove community builder your users will still be in the Joomla user area and they can still log in through Joomla. Okay, so we have two users now. Let's go to the front end and actually log in with this new user account we created. Okay, uh, the first login takes this user to the profile page. So let's just go ahead and make select the canvas image for this user and a default avatar about the elephant 
There we go. So we have two users now. Kind of looks okay. Now, we can't be adding users all the time from the back end. Okay, we have to give users the opportunity to sign in from the front end. And that's what the sign up link here in the uh, login form is about. I can click here, sign up. And let's just do another front end registration. Be before I actually uh, set this up, I want us to visit the community builder configuration area because there are some parameters that will basically uh, adjust the approval workflow. So if you look at the registration tab here, we'll see this third and fourth parameter. It's admin approval and email confirmation. Uh, email confirmation basically set to yes means that uh, newly registered uh, form registration form submitter will get an email with a confirmation link that they need to click on in order to confirm that the email they gave is correct. Once that confirmation link is received, the user will not be automatically uh, approved and they cannot log in yet because we have the second parameter here set to yes, saying that admin approval is required before a user can actually log in for the first time. So let's just see how this workflow works. Go back to front end. Let's assume a user is trying to sign in from the front end. There we go, and we do a sign up. The user gets a message on the screen saying your sign up request requires email confirmation and approval, so check your email. The email the user receives basically looks like this. Greetings, Fenya, and so on, and there is the link to confirm. Let's click on this. Thank you for confirming your email address. Your account requires approval by a moderator. You will receive an email with the outcome of the renewal, the review. Okay, let's look at the back end, what's happening now. Let's go to the community builder, user management. We see we have this third user set up. It's, they're not enabled yet. They have confirmed the email and it's pending approval. So as a super user, I can just click on this approved user button here to approve them from the back end. But I don't want to always be doing this. I want to allow users to do this from the front end, special users. So let's just go to the front end here and log in as an admin user. We will see this CB workflows module has a link here saying one user approval. And if I click on this link, I'll see my new user that has confirmed the email address ready for approval. So any super user or any uh, community builder moderator will see exactly how to set these moderators up. Can just go here and either approve or reject and give a rejection comment uh, that will be passed on to the rejected user via email. Uh, an admin user or a moderator can also actually click on the link here to see the profile in its state. Okay, so this is not yet approved by a moderator, so you're just seeing the message. This probably shouldn't be an error message, but uh, maybe we'll fix this in the next release. So go back here, click on user approval, approve. Let me go to the back end now, do a refresh. There we go, user is enabled and approved. And the user got the following welcome email here. Okay. Uh, how do moderators, how do we set up moderators? If you go to Community Builder here, 
configuration. There's a moderation tab, and we'll see the moderator's view access level is at the special. We can create a new Joomla access level and assign our moderator to the access level. What is special? We can go to Joomla access levels to see, click on special. We see the special is basically managers, authors, super users. And above, of course. So managers and admins and so on. Great. Now, let's assume we don't really want all our users to be getting uh, moderator notification messages. This is a sample message that a moderator gets when there's an action required. So the moderators will get this email saying, you know, here's a new user that signed up, has confirmed their email, and is basically waiting for a moderator to go to the workflow modules and approve this user. Now, as a super admin, I don't want to be getting emails uh, like this all the time. I have my moderator set up on my website, so there's no need for me to get these emails also. How do I turn this off? I just go to my super admin account in the back end, and I scroll to the end of the contact info tab, and I'll see this receive moderator's email. It's currently set to yes. I can just go ahead and set it to no. Okay, that's it. Let's go to the front end here and log in as my new user. And set up a canvas image. How about this one? And a portrait image. How about a mouse? Great, so now I have basically three users on my website. I've showed you how to sign up a user from the back end, from the front end, and we looked at the workflows uh, that are available in terms of confirmation, uh, email requ required, and admin approval required. That's it for tutorial number three. Thanks for listening.